Let's look at the setup on this on VCarve Pro. Here's the basic bottle cap I'm going to use. To find that, you go to Clip Art, and under B is Bottle Cap. Imagine that. And let's go back to Modeling. Look what I did there. I went as thick as I could get, so possible thickness of 1.1. I did 1.1 there. And close that back. And then I did a wrap around. You can use this one to create a vector around the edge. I used that, and then actually, this line right here, I actually, uh, whoops. I'm not sure I just did there. Let's control Z. That line there, I actually used the drawing, and I did the offset to pull it in a little bit. It looks better if that line is pulled in from the edge. Um, enough said. It looks better if you do that. You can play with the previews if you want later. Uh, so that's the bottle cap. I did some artwork. I did the Corona logo again from the last project. I tweaked it up a little bit. I Instead of saying Corona beer or cerveza, I forget what it says there. Now it says Corona virus. I found a font that was similar and pulled it in real quick. Uh, the V actually looked like really bad, so I got the, the U and cut off the edge and just made it look like a V. And then also where it says imported beer from Mexico, Cerveza, beer, I forget what it says. I changed it, imported virus from China. Same 2020 from the other project. Let's add the text in. I was social distancing before it was cool. I kind of like that one. Uh, just use the text and use the lines here for the uh, right there to wrap around and I expand a little bit to get the right spot I wanted. You can play that later if you want or ask Mark Lindsay if I have questions how that works. He's much better at this than I am showing how it works. Let's go over to the tool paths. Uh, first thing I did was I wrapped, I cut an edge around the project because when you do the 3D cutting the the ball nose it goes and drops down the edge. If there's not a little trough there in the edge it plunges hard in the wood, not good on your bits, not good on the project at all. Uh, the 3D roughing, you can't even see it, there's so little there. Let's go to preview, there's the little lines right there of the roughing, there's not much actually to rough on there. The 3D finish, each one of those is a path. I probably went more than I needed to, but gives a better finish. For the V-carve, I did 0 0.08 on the depth on that. It's probably too much, actually. When I was doing around the text here, imported virus, a little bit of chipping on the edges. Cause it's, this part stands proud, actually, the way it's cut. And I've already got half as much. I think it would have been better. But this didn't turn out bad. Just You're always looking at ways to improve. And the cutout, like I said, I pulled that edge a little bit in a little bit. That's the cutout. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and preview it all, except for the skim top. And there you go. And like I said before, if I wouldn't have had that, pulled that edge in a little bit, it would have looked wrong. You can play it later and see what you want. If you look at the machine carefully, you can see I've already surfaced the top edge of that, so it's nice and flat. Now I am hogging out some area around the model. It'll help a lot later doing the 3D stuff. I am using my dust collection right now because that part makes a lot of dust. I'm not going to use it much later just because, well, it looks better. I'll put up with some dust in the, off or the garage there, but that first step makes a lot of dust. Uh, right now it is doing the 3D roughing pass takes it not very long, so there's not much on the edge to rough. The top doesn't get touched at all. And the next step here will be the finishing pass. I'm using a half-inch ball nose for this. Uh, the half-inch ball nose works great because it's not too detailed to work, really. There's no sharp edges, so that one will look fine. Get through it pretty fast. I sped the speed way up here to 64 times because Honestly, back and forth, back and forth for the 3D pass is just kind of boring, so we'll get through this as fast as possible. And now it's time for the V-carving. This gets a little more interesting. You can see it take shape. I'm using a 45-degree V-bit. I use cheap little 8th-inch uh, bits. Actually, I get good results with them, and they're, they're darn cheap to start with. So one of my little secrets to save some money here.
The wood I'm using for this project is beech. I had a rough cut slab that's kind of ugly on the outside, but inside it always carves pretty well. There's a crack on the edge, which I kind of filled with a little bit of putty so you can't really see it. Um, I like the way beech carves, but with that crack in it I couldn't do much else, so I figured a nice contest like this would be a good thing for it. And now we're cutting it out. We're almost done. And here it is, still on the machine. No sanding, no nothing yet. Just came out great. My machine does a good job giving great results. And here I am to show how good the definition is on that little text there. Obviously it's a penny there, and you can still read the La Cerveza Mas Fina. Good beer. Uh, I don't know, I'm just really happy results on that. You can even read out the imported virus from China. It, it came out good. And here's one final photo of the project. As I said before, it's beech wood. Uh, there is no stain on this, just urethane finish. It's about 1.1 inches thick. I'm really happy the way it came out. I want to thank everyone for making it to the end of this video. Uh, I enjoyed making this project, and uh, it's a fun contest to do. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, everyone.